Well, good morning everybody and welcome to another episode. This morning I'm going to try the Hindmarsh River in the morning. This is the first time I've actually tried this river in the morning. I've come here a couple of times. In fact, this may be my third time and they've all been in the afternoon. Well, this morning we're here in the morning. It looks like the water level's risen slightly since I was here last. I don't know if it's fresh water running or whether the tides come up a fair way. They have had a large tide yesterday, so it might have been, could be that. Um, and the water is a little bit darker this time. I reckon last time the video should be up already, but I, the water was a little bit clearer. Um, and I don't know whether it's because the sun was up higher. Anyhow, I forgot to bring the plastics of choice where I got bit off. So this, I started off with this last time in that snag central hole where it starts along here. I start that video here and the last video I got my first hit just up here through the jungle. And then um, I switched over to a white paddle tail which I don't have on me. I have got other similar colours. We'll start off with the one that worked last time, which is the fantail shrimp. Already rigged up with the jigger, just need to decide which plastic, and I think this one's the one to go. And I reckon I had it upside down, but I might go back to the way I had it. You can have it both ways, I think. That's on there quite nicely. I'll just put some scent on there. Scent of choice, once again the gulp, and I'll probably stick with this one until I run out. Apparently S, X, S factor is the way to go, but this one has been doing the trick, it's got UV in it. At this time of the morning it's very hard out the tube. Once the day warms up, it's a lot easier to apply, but it is quite sticky in the morning. Rub that all over that, because I want to get a fish pretty much first cast would be nice. It's a fair bit of background noise today. As you would have heard in the intro there, someone yelling out or something. Yeah, let's have a look, see what's around. Oh, that was a good first cast. Oh yeah, I can see the lure from here, so the water clarity is probably about the same as last time then. So this is the spot where I've pulled a fish out every time I come in. Wouldn't it be amazing if I could make it three from three? It'd be funny. Start there, but I reckon this tree's fallen over. I reckon I had more access to the right here, and I don't have that now. Yeah, it has. Yeah, that branch there, that wasn't there. You could get a cast. Now I can only cast two angles. I might not get one out of this hole today. Got him. I knew I'd get one out of here. Oh, it's a bruiser. I might not land that. Oh no. I'm going to have to wear him out somehow. Hell. He's a bruiser. Shit. How am I going to land that? I'll get it in a minute. Six pounds might not hold. Whoa! What a bruiser! That's a massive brim. How cool is that? These shit everywhere as well in this river. A bit like the Wapingo one. 
That's big. You're kidding. My, I don't have pliers. Where'd they go? Oh no, I've got no pliers. Oh, got it out though. Look at the size of that. What a brim. That's probably, whoop, gone. Probably around 37 centimetres, I'd say. I knew I'd get one out of this hole. That's the trail. There's only one little spot you can fish here, really. Everywhere else, I haven't pulled a fish anywhere else. And that was on the fan tail. But I forgot my net and I just realised I got no pliers. That's not good. Again, I was just slow rolling it and doing those twitches. That one didn't slice my thumb open like it did in the other episode. I don't know whether it would be the same brim. Similar size, that's how big it was, I'm pretty sure. If not, that one was bigger. But, uh, no, nice. Actually, I'm going to just work this little area and then I'm going to actually switch sides. I'm going to go on the other side of the river this time just to change the scenery from last, the other episode because this was the only part I caught the fish last time. Right. Oh, shit. I'm on the other side, exactly the other side of where I caught that brim, actually. This will be interesting. Got a bit of chance of landing it on this side. Rightio, so I've chipped, switched over to a paddle tail in the watermelon pearl. That's what this one's called. It's a bait junkie lure. Um, and I think I've got that 1 16th ounce jig head. It's a size 2 and it's got the uh, extra locking mechanism. I reckon with the paddle tail, that extra action in the water, I can slow roll a lot easier. And these snaggy waters get away with that, just rolling across the place. <laughs> That's two hits in a couple of retrieves and I haven't hooked them twice. Whatever it is, it's probably small. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's grabbed it so many times. Wow. Try again. He's determined this brim. That's three times. Three times and I didn't get it reaction time or something I've got the drag reasonably well set up it's a sneaky brim down there I've seen a flash again I'm gonna work this area until I catch him I've had three or four hits from it now that sticks floating past I'll be able to cast where I was casting Here and that's all we'll move along. I want to check this whole side out actually. I haven't been on this side. So I might as well have a look. And on my way back, give it 20 minutes to see. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, you know what that means? Another cast. It's pants the lure. Bugger me. I was too busy worrying about what I'm doing next. He's determined. That's five hits. Pounced it three times. My reaction time or something that's not right today. No. Okay, I'll give it 20 and I'll come back and have a look. That here. I'm going to leave things there on this short, sharp and shiny session. Only the one brim. That brim over on the other side there that wouldn't stop attacking the lure. I just could not get him. So unfortunately that's how it goes sometimes. Only the one brim. On a plus side, I didn't lose any lures today. That's one good thing about it. But I'm definitely going to come back here 
on a regular basis in winter time and I've found a few new spots along there so yeah I'll work this area next time and I'll have a look on the other side again and yeah I'm looking forward to coming back here and keeping it as a spot to use during the season during winter and until next time thanks for watching catch us in the next one